Iedereen op YouTube. Ik ben Inge en ik kom vandaag hier bij Theo voor een nieuw kapsel. Een stoer kapsel met een nieuwe kleur. Ja, Inge wants een nieuwe hairstyle en een nieuwe color. But we can also show in the, this video a part of it, of hair pulling. It's a new way to get the best condition of hair. And I can make also a video just with hair pulling, so you can see it in a short version. Inge, when you hold your eyes, she will turn around to show you the latest hairstyle she had. Yes. And you can find her on uh, YouTube under her name, of course. Right, Inge. Thank you very much. Hello, friends on YouTube. Inge is back to have a new hairstyle. Now, what I told you, I'm going to start also with uh, a new way to get the best condition of hair. I'll make a short video of it and I'll make a longer video of it. Start by putting on the protection, not that I needed that the first part of it. But also, when you start a haircut and you start with hair pulling, especially now it's after the day, so you have a lot of tension in your uh, skull, uh, skin, so you have, want to release this, this, this tension. And before you start a haircut, especially with uh, a lot of people who have stress, you have a better hairstyle, so it can work much nicer. So I start hair pulling and a small part in this video, but also another video just to put hair pulling on. Start by wetting the hair. And why do I start hair pulling? I have a lot of customers who live in a stressy time, and I think all over the world there's a lot of stress. So a lot of people have tensions and um, yeah heart, skull, skin. So most tensions are yeah, on the head. So I want to release them before I start cutting. When you do this, you hold the best hair in the world. This you do, normally you could give as a su uh, support the massage, but that doesn't bring a lot. You just shift your skin like this, brings nothing. You cannot feel it getting heat, uh, heated. But when you put your hands in the hairs and then go pulling the hairs, softly pulling them up and releasing them and pulling them up and release them, you get a lot of more space between the skull and the hairs and of course the skin. And this heats up the skin on top, but it releases also all the tensions. When you do this to customers, mostly you see them just go very softly into a relaxed mode. Place with the blood vessels to get the blood in, and when you loosen it, you pump it out. So that's what you do. Start as always with wetting the hair. Now hair is a little bit wet, of course, because I started uh, with a video of hair pulling. Now I'm gonna change this hairstyle totally, because now it's an asymmetrical hairstyle, it will be more symmetric. I'm gonna give a lot of space to the hairs and to get a hairstyle that can be more functional. So it can be when small, it can be when punky, it can be exciting and fresh but also we're gonna give her a real sensational dark color. Now I lock it. <laughs> and it's short over the Yeah, <laughs> she wants it shorter. <laughs> uh, that's not a problem because it will be short. Now first I get rid of the length of front. So go slicing, take a scissor that I can slice with Watch through the hairs. And get rid of the asymmetrical lines. For slice cutting you need a scissor that you can slice with. And they are two nice on each other without micro thieves.
take every time hair up and about an inch from the skull I start cutting. Twisting so I get more effect into the hairs. So twist them over. You can already see that the shape is getting in the other way. And this is for the hairdressers that like to work free and free and style. Just play with hairs. When you do slice techniques, you have to wet it in between. Otherwise, it gets a bit rough for the person you do slicing on. Take hairs up. I really like the thickening of the clock. Yeah, it's a nice sound. Go a step behind her, knowing I have the support length on the front. Get rid of a lot of length on top. In this length, I start about wow, five centimeters from the skull. So it's a little bit more than you know, one and a half inch. For those who like to work in inches. This is Kiona's scissor. It's a real lovely scissor. It's my most feminine scissor. But it's also a tough cookie because, yeah, <laughs> it takes off the hairs that I like to take off without pulling. <coughs> tough cookie. <laughs> tough cookie. Yeah. Don't know if a tough cookie <laughs> is a tough cookie, but. Klink good. Klink good. Sounds good, the top yeah. cookie. Yeah. Wet it again. Go over to control slicing. Take the hairs up. Go in. And now I shape the hairs on the beautiful face. The nice thing of the clock is that I have a rhythm to work in. It's not much of a rhythm, but it's a rhythm. Deep slicing. So take a lot of the weights on top. Deep slicing is laying down. Hold my scissors in an angle. And cap from beneath into the hairs. the nicest lines on the face lines. Now I know she likes to have the ears free but that doesn't mean that I can not leave the hairs on front a little bit longer and playful because I like the shapes on the face lines more deep in to so get a softer and nicer effect on the face lines.
see how wonderful this looks. Free of breath. <laughs> yeah. Go to the other side. Go in. Also on this side with slice techniques, deep it down, deep in, to the front. Watch where the thickness is. Also on this side, I create softness that flows into the lines of the facial lines. Up slicing is a little bit hard to do, but possible. You see, the nice thing of working with slice techniques is that you shape. Using sometimes only the tip, because this side is a little bit less thick than the other side. This is up slicing. So you go against the hair fall. Watch the fall. There where you need a little bit more, you take a little bit more. Go over the running on top. Using only the tip. Oh. That was his hands. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Johnny, Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp feeling. Yeah. So food. A bit like Johnny Depp, but then you need more scissors yeah. at once. It's possible because uh, to pull that off. Off. This is also a way to slice. You take two scissors, one economic and one classic. You can slice with this also. You can slice two times as fast, and then you get the feeling of it was his hands. To my old videos, you can also find the video that I did this slicing with uh, two and even three scissors. I prefer one because you have more control, of course. But when you want to get the show done, uh, you take two or three. Start on this side also up slicing a bit, not too much. So go down under. It's Australia for us, down under. <laughs> I had a comment from Australia that she asked me where I was on the planet. So I told her right beneath you, because the Netherlands lay right beneath Australia on the world. Work on three ears, lifting up, holding some land to the front. Adjust the line a bit, pull it down, go in. Schok je het Ja. Of niet? Get good. Mm -hmm. Deze schaar heeft ook hele mooie puntjes, dus die kan haast niet uh, in je uitpikken. Die is heel mooi zacht. Die heb ik zelf zacht gemaakt. Pull hier down. Create a rounding. Clean this afterwards with a small clipper. So now to the front, everything is ready. So now I can start on the back, because I need to get 
also a shape in that because now I have a lot of thickness around here. But see how wonderful the front is, how, yeah, how sexy, short and still feminine it is, but also a little bit pucky. Again, slice it up a little bit from the female edges. Adjusting the length of the front a bit. Not too much, and just like the front. So I turn a bit. Go for other comb because then I can see the hairs better. Now you see there's a lot of thickness around here, so I need to adjust that also. This I do into the fall of the hairs. So go in from above. Behind here is a lot of hair. Use the rounding of the skull to get the movement into it. And this is all deep slicing. It's like playing with clay. Upslicing. On the skull bone you can upslice. There we need some effect in the underlines. For example, this part. I keep it a little bit slicing in the underlines just to have some support of shorter hair that jumps up the hairs. When I've done all the slicing around the skull bone, so I go in and just slice around the skull bone. Then I'm gonna take it up, adjust the length, scissor overcome. So I hold the nice soft techniques. Get rid of the thickness in the neckline. There's a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the nice thing when you watch the videos of Inge, she started for a year ago with, with <laughs> a lot of hair. She had a bob. Never noticing that she would have uh, this kind of hairstyles. Yeah, she's very happy with it. And for me as a hairdresser, she has beautiful hair because I can learn a lot of it. She has a lot of uh, effect in it. Yeah, she has a wavy effect in it, so I can work in all kind of shapes and against all the hair falls. So I watch and watch and watch. And I always learn of the things I do myself. I learn the most things of doing YouTube because I tell you what I'm doing. Normally I would never tell you what I'm doing because I just cut and talk to the customer. But now I have to talk to you and explaining a bit of what I do. And that makes it a bit hard because normally my doing hair is just a feeling. So I don't like to talk about it. It's coming from my, my soul because my soul is the hairdresser in me. I'll show you the difference between the left and the right. So you see how nicely this falls, how short it is, and when you watch to the skull lines, it'll turn on a bit more so you can see it even better. So you see how nice short this is, and how nice it falls into the neckline. And this will be also soft, so there's no hardness in it. But you see the weight of the hairs is gone. Yeah, <laughs> stomach. <laughs> so black. Huh? Go above the ear. Told you I hold the softness on the front, so I don't take off too much, just a part of the length. And like I told you, the hair streams go from the first part to the front and then to the back. 
Maar één keer. Life to give me some work. Yeah. Also this side, I take a little bit off. To the front. Just in the lines, so I get my playful effect in it. Pull the ear down. This is a bit hard to do because this scissor slips. It's a slicing scissor. So when you do cutting like this, you have to go in the opposite lines, otherwise, the hairs just slip out of your blades. It doesn't matter. Now I have to wet them between. Lekker, lekker. Het is echt leuk als dat echt gaat. Get the thickness off behind your ears. Gave it first, of course, some slice techniques, so I went in there and gave it this slice techniques. And then I only have to adjust the length. What I told you have to watch which way the hairs go because they go uh, yeah, waving to the back. So this part goes for example this way, but then you have a wave to there and then a wave to there again. Make a hairdresser crazy. <laughs> so crazy. For those who take, uh, take a lot of time to do a haircut, normally in my salon, I have every half hour a customer and I do all the things in one uh, half hour. Even take a hairstyle cutting and coloring. And it doesn't matter how much colors you like in your hair, I do it all in less than a half hour. And then I have to wait. But when you explain things, you have to be aware that you stand on the places where you never stand, and that makes it a little bit hard to do. <laughs> go for the center line. See how I go for the flow of the hairs in the opposite lines. The underlines of the neckline I do with a feather knife. This because I have a hot tool, and when I work with a hot tool, you never get uh, irritation of the ends of the hair and then they are only on that part where they touch the skin. So I see the softness of it. Just in the thickness. Although I have a lot of light, lamp light is hard to see the hairs. So normally in my salon I sit in front of uh, the window. I have natural light. I really like natural light. And you can see me working from outside of the salon. Stay away about a centimeter of the contour line. And I told you I couldn't do this with the hot tool. But with a tool like a hot tool, I can shape a little bit better now with a scissor. Let's see how wonderful soft this will be. Okay, coming to the hot tool. The hot tool is a hot racer of Ergo. And you find www.askergo.com. Just a little bit, because when the hairs dry up a bit, you can see even better the fall of the hairs. Look 
creating softness into the side beards. Turn will come around, otherwise cannot pick it up. Go to the other side. Just also this side. Watch where the thickness even can be less thick. This I do afterwards with a normal scissor and of course a clipper. Then I come into the neckline. I pull a bit to the front. Also the wavy effects are also in the neckline and small hairs that jump the other side around but that I take off. It's a real nice tool to work with. You never now go to the clipper. Set the hairs aside. These are the hairs that go in the opposite lines. Take them off. And when I lay the hairs back, you can see why. A lot more stable. And this underline is also a part that jumps the other way around. Take it off. So you see, you can rest into the hairs. Also on this side. Take the hairs away from the parts that I don't need. And customers can come by at after working time to clean the neckline for free. It's uh, a service I always give them on short hairstyles. Around the ears, holding the line soft, not too short. Clean the contour line and clean the side beard. Take my small comb, jump the hairs up, correct the line. Pull the ear down, pull the ear to the front. With the tip of my clipper, I create a soft rounding. Do this also on the other side. In a lost miracle round. <laughs> Take it up. Soften the lines. Clean the contour line and the side beard. Leaving the length, only cleaning the line. Lay the ass in the rounding, put ear to the front. And she has lovely small ears. Coming to the natural fall again. Take a little bit in the center of. Afterwards, I always can correct the lines. But now, for so far, I can see the hair is in a beautiful shape. So now I can make her that stunning new color. Put on the protection for coloring. Matron color of kin. Make it with uh, six percent. That's twenty volume. Put a conditioner in of glint. Step one. This I do to protect the skin, but also to get the best result and the best quality of hair. Now the nice thing of this color is this, and you can see this on the side of her hair. The color on the side of her hair is uh, six weeks, more than six, I think seven, eight weeks old, and still black. And when you watch my video of Emmy, she is uh, bleached platinum blonde, and she had also a black into a platinum blonde hair. And it stays and it stays and it stays always black. Mm -hmm. And that's the nice thing of this color line of glint. 
but I can also see it on the reds. All the red colors also stay for a long time red. And normally they fade very fast. But we go for a strong black hairstyle. She will certainly be the lady of the night. In between I can clean the skin of course. Travel one time over the total hairstyle. Just to control if everywhere is, of course, dark color. Make sure to take all the light colored hairs with it. Then I close this up. It's gonna wait for 20 minutes without heat. Don't get diffused by the way you see a blue coming up because afterwards it's ultra black. Black. I want my red bag. <laughs> <laughs> Take a small carton wig, lay it around the ears and on the neckline. And a bit to the front. Then I take up a clip, close my plastic foil. What I told you. 20 minutes, you just stay there because we're back in less than a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sing we it. go for a coffee. Oh, that's we love it. coffee. <laughs> and about, uh, I think about 95% of my customers drink coffee black. So, so healthy we are in the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> back from coloring, after 25 minutes we rinse it out. And I'm going to show you the beauty of this hairstyle, because this is a beautiful hairstyle. You can wear it, of course, in a wet look. That looks like this. And I'll give in it a little bit near to you, so you can see how wonderful it is. She will turn around to show you. Yes. So you have a wet look style with it. A bit boys. You can also do this in dry version. Before I go blow drying, she has dry hair, so it's the structure of the hair is a bit dry. So I use uh, a smooth product of Lanza. This just it's for curly hair, but it gives also moist to the hairs. So you have more a better effect. Looking good. Feeling sexy. <laughs> Start with a nail brush. Turn a bit. Starting on the back. Give it a little bit volume, not too much. Okay, for also a little bit of makeup, not too much. Now for so far blow drying of uh, a bit boyish hairstyle, make photos of this hairstyle also, so we can get to see all the hairstyles we create. On Dutch TV, natural TV, you see also one of the persons who are is every day on TV with this hairstyle. Yeah, so I'm going to make photos of this hairstyle. I can put in a little bit nearby so you can see how, how this hairstyle is. <laughs> it's a strong hairstyle. She turns around so you can see this. I think it's really sexy on the girl. I can make photos of it and then we're back to restyle it. Okay, back from uh, Making photos, of course. So now I create this into a bit punky hairstyle.
roughen het op met wat vingers. Massage the neckline. Do the this like this. Take my knuckles and go into the neckline. Especially when they lay into the sink. That's hard for the neckline, so you can relax the neckline by using the knuckles. Turn and spider. Spider is of uh, glint. Crystal turn is of Goldwell KMS. This gives a wonderful product because the spider product can make it real punky. And the nice thing of this product is you can always restyle your hair. Just wetting your hands a bit and you have a new hairstyle. Ja, kijk, dat is lekker van deur, het kast. Dit is de hairstyle we go for, because this is the punky version of English hairstyle. Nou, thank you for being my model. Thank you for watching. She will turn around to show you the end result, and we see each other next video. Ja. Stay focused. Ja, hoe is het rondje eruit? Ja, het is wel echt wel heel anders. Ja, leuk. Dankjewel. Alsjeblieft. Hi iedereen op YouTube. Ik ben Inge en ik kom vandaag hier bij Theo voor een nieuw kapsel. Een stoer kapsel met een nieuwe kleur. Ja, Inge wants een nieuwe hairstyle en een nieuwe collar. 